Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the Gundam FSD. Um, I've seen this kit um, pretty much in the prototype and it looked pretty cool. It was really the Gatling gun that kind of like got me wanting it. Uh, but I know it's for the most part very similar to the North American type and I believe that that's pretty much similar to the local type. Um, but the Origin series I've always really loved and I haven't picked up the uh, local type nor the North American version. Uh, so I want to go ahead and, get, and just try my hands on this, see how it is, um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Well, the front of the box, uh, I love the front of the box to be honest, uh, pretty much him doing exactly what I might do whenever I do pose him, is just firing off his Gatling gun, and I love that giant shield. I think the shield is fantastic, and has a whole bunch of nice destructive stuff going on in the background. And here you get a front and a rear uh, image of the actual finished kit. You can go ahead and pause right here in order to read this. And here's some information on the Mobile Suit Discovery. I don't know anything about this. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to go ahead and give it a read so that way I can speak a little bit more intelligently on this kit uh, when I actually do the review. Uh, but if you want to read that, you can go ahead and do so right now. This is number 21, the High Grade Origin line. Here we are treated with some nice little action poses. All the different armaments and different hands that it has. And this kit retails for 2200 yen. Okay, and here's runner A1. Uh, you do get two of these, so we'll just take a look at one. Um, as you can see, there's some pretty good detail right in here. Um, multiple different shades. This is like a very nice little tan. Uh, this is kind of a... It's like a, a weird brown. It's like a mud brown almost. Uh, that looks pretty good. Oh, I, it kind of looks black on the camera, but it's like more of a mud brown, and this is a nice little... Uh, kind of just orange. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm going colorblind, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is orange. Uh, but overall, looks pretty nice. Okay, and here's B1. Uh, this is really nice. It has like the shield, the waist, uh, parts of the head, V-fin, uh, some more waist, looks like it's parts of the legs. Uh, and this is also kind of like that mud brown that was on the A1, uh, but looks pretty good. Okay, and here is C1. Uh, it's pretty much the same exact color, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no. Uh, this is a little bit darker uh, than this one, so you got multiple shades in this kit. Uh, to be honest, that's, that's pretty impressive for a high grade. This is like almost real grade standards as far as different colors, but uh, this looks really great as um, kind of like this really dark brown. All right, here's runner C2. Looks like it's pretty much going to be parts for the head. And here's runner D1. Uh, this is pretty much going to be uh, like a really nice tan as on the A1 runner. Uh, looks like parts with shield, backpack. Uh, this might be the waist right here. Um, but looks really good. You got some nice hands. Uh, really great detail on the hands. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about this runner because I like this, uh, this color, like this, this tan color. Okay, and here's runner E. Uh, runner, he, runner E is going to have multiple shades as well. So this isn't the same tan this is also like this is more of a gray uh right here and then this uh i'm not really too sure oh this is this is actually two different tones as well so i, I don't even know like there's like five different tone uh tone colors in this kit i am getting way more excited right now um like i bought this kit not really thinking much of it i was just kind of like oh i like the gatling gun but now I'm like, oh my god, these details, like everything looks phenomenal. So yeah, this is this is really shaping up to be pretty awesome. All right, runner G2 is going to be a really nice handgun. Well, I guess more of a uh, machine gun. And here's runner H. Runner H is going to be your shoulder mounted cannon uh, and backpack parts. Here we have runner F. This is going to be the uh, belt belt fed magazine. So this is going to be for the Gatling gun and an old poly cap sheet. Here you have D2, which is pretty much going to be the only. Uh, clear part in the uh, the set. This is going to be for the eyes right here. Two beam sabers. A very small sticker sheet, uh, which all this could easily be painted. So this makes me actually uh, pretty happy to be honest. And you have a monstrous sticker sheet. Um, I'm not really too upset by these because usually the Origin um, high grades have really nice stickers. Um, so this doesn't bother me as much. I'm going to go ahead and use it any, uh, either way because. Um, you know, even if this wasn't in the kit, I wasn't going to go out there and buy water slides just for this high grade. Uh, so this is a really nice addition. I can't wait to put that on here. Okay, and taking a look at the manual, uh, pretty much the front cover looks really nice. Uh, you get some color stuff right in here. It's pretty much showing you the gimmicks and the construction of the Gatling gun, the cannon, shield. Here's all the instructions in black and white. And on the back, you're going to get pretty much uh, information regarding the, um, the different armaments and the different mechanics on the actual mobile suit. And then right here, you get that large uh, sticker placement guide and then your color guide right down there. 
But that's it for me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, I was actually going to wait until tomorrow morning. Uh, I think it's like 10 o'clock right now at night. But I, I, want, I really want to go ahead and just get started on this uh, mobile suit and then get done by tomorrow night so that way I can get the review up for y'all. Uh, so more likely, this isn't going to be up tonight. It's going to be up tomorrow morning when I wake up. Uh, so by your time watching this, which will be nighttime, when you wake up the next morning, this review will be up. But that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe if you you know want to see this review and everything else. Uh, other than that, guys, I'll see y'all in the review. Bye.